Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up and decorating my social media planner for the week of June the 12th. All right, so for my social media planner, I figured it might be fun, kind of fun. I, initially, it was gonna be a monochromatic spread um, each week of the month of June. So like the first week it was black, the set, well, I guess black and white. Um, the second week it was like pink, but then I had to use gold as an accent color. So I guess it's now becoming is, I don't know if duochromatic is, is, is a word or not, but it's becoming like one primary color with maybe an accent color. Cause it's very hard to find just one color unless I just stick to only boxes. Um, so <laughs> yeah, this week, if you couldn't already tell, we're going to be doing green. So I went ahead and stamped the days of the week and the dates across the top. And I will warn you that they do bleed through. I don't know if you can see that, but I didn't even stamp with a very heavy hand, but it still bled through pretty good. You can even see it on the other side where I have already worked. All right. So I had to pull a lot of stuff um, to find, I think, enough green stickers. And I still don't know if I have enough. So these came from, I believe, the Botanicals Mega Book. So we're going to probably use these because these are big. They're probably going to be what I use in the sidebar. And as you can see, some of these have gold. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those or not, but I might not have a choice. <laughs> um, I did print my own boxes a while ago, and these may <laughs> save me, although I have a whole bunch of boxes now from Mojo Jojo. And I did pull, I do have her rainbow boxes, but I also pulled her jewel tone shapes ones. I might use these. I have jungle vibes, vibes. <laughs> and then I do have fruits and florals. I'm gonna try not to cheat and use the limes because I've already used the limes in a spread not that long ago. That would have been so perfect <laughs> for this spread, but because I just used it, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be a little, I'm going to try to be a little different, but I still pulled it just in case. And just for the sake of time, I did pull out all the all green ones from the Jungle Vibes book, just so I didn't have to keep flipping because it was like little small stickers mixed in with other ones. All right, that's enough of my chatting. We're going to go ahead and place some of this stuff down on the page. So how is everybody doing out there? Now we are pretty much well into June. Um, we're coming up on the middle of the month and now we're like, not only we're we coming up on the middle of the month, but like we're almost at the halfway point for the year. And just out of curiosity, is anybody like changing up their planners for July? Now I knew like the new teacher layer, um, teacher layout, the teacher layout plan, the teacher planners from Happy Planner came out. Um, I usually don't buy them until they're on clearance. Um, last year I actually just bought them to try them out and now I actually absolutely love them. I do have one undated planner. Um, I don't love the dividers because it is like teacher related whereas this one wasn't um this one had like florals and stuff on the cover so it might have had like one or two that had sayings and stuff but for the most part it wasn't related to um teaching but i started thinking i'm actually i don't really even use the monthly calendar for this because I'm franken planning the happy planner monthly layout um which is a lot of checklists is that how I can explain it and so I've been using that actual monthly calendar because that's in the front of this so yeah I've been using that now was there another one I thought I had two of these what did I do with the other one? <laughs> oh no this is starting out great guys I was for sure I had another one, but maybe, oh yeah, it was right here. <laughs> I'm like, I was for sure I had another one. <laughs> and you guys probably could see it the whole time. I'm actually thinking, maybe more like right here. 
Um, yeah, and then this would look okay here. Or maybe this is when I bring in some of these. I mean, they're on the same sheet, so I should be able to make them work. These are more like, some of these are more fall leaves. I don't know if I like these. Yeah, now I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, teacher planners. Yeah, so I was trying them out last year. Like, I wasn't sure if this was something that I was going to stick with or like or anything like this. I think this needs to go up. Um, and I absolutely love it. And I've been, I've tried this pretty much for all of my planners. <laughs> Since I've had it, I've tried it for all of them. And to be honest, it's actually worked for all of them. Um, but it has worked for social media the best because I just feel like I can not only map out my week, but I can get a good view of my week in this planner um, versus the other one. So I do like this for my social media a lot better than even the dashboard. And y'all know I love my dashboard, but guys, I might be moving away from my dashboard. No, I didn't just say that, did I? <laughs> but yeah, I might be moving away from my dashboard. And that is because I purchased a new planner. I purchased a Go Getter Girl planner, which is a coil system. Eee! Yeah, you know I love my disc, but maybe it's new little headers. I still have some old ones, so I'm still going to probably go back and forth. See, I think I can do this. Um, so yeah, I, um, purchased that and that's a mixture. Basically you have a vertical weekly view and then immediately following that one week, you have seven daily sheets in the hourly format. And if you guys follow my other plan with me, so you know that in addition to my catch-all, I kind of have a goals planner where I've been doing the hourly. So I'm thinking I might try that for my catch-all and goals planner. And the reason why I'm thinking about switching to is I feel like it'll be a good system for those two. But I recently Franken planned like all my planners together and that's working very well as far as like when I'm at home. But um, if I was to take it to the office and we, we do go into the, like I do go into the office randomly, um, certain times, you know, certain months I'm going there more than others. It just kind of depends on what, you know, if there's any like in-person stuff that needs to be done. So transporting a Franken planner is not my, is not ideal for me. And that's just because I'm transporting all this stuff that I don't need. <laughs> So I thought it might be easier to try it, but here's the thing is I don't know, do I want to start it in July or do I want to wait and start it in January? That is where my hangup is, is I don't know when to start it. Of course, this has nothing to do with this. This is staying true and I'm going to be, you better believe once those teacher layouts start going on clearance, I'm going to keep my eye out because I don't foresee this teacher layout going out of my lineup. <laughs> yes. I did say the same thing about, um, <laughs> about the dashboard. And now I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. The dashboard will not go out of my lineup. I currently use the recovery planner for wellness. And all right, before I do that, I created these cute little things off of on Canva and then I think I did these on Canva or did I did these do these in Word? I might have just done these in Word. I did. I did this in Microsoft Word and then I just transferred it to my Cricut and then cut it. And these are like the steps that I have to do when I film a video. So I just wanted to do this <laughs> so I can like check it off. I actually can make them bigger next time. I was kind of like, I don't know how big to make it, 
But that way when I film it, oh, that's right, I wanna put it on Tuesday. I already messed it up. Um, that way when I film a video, I can just check off the stuff because in the previous plan with me, I like use like a checklist and that was like a whole thing. And then I'm like, you know what? This will save me so much time in the end because now that I already have it saved in my Cricut, I just can go and like print it. Although like I said, now I might wanna make it bigger and it keeps being crooked. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. Of course it is impeding on my green color scheme, but this is a function thing and not a <laughs> sticker thing. Um, but yeah, so back to my, my story about my dashboard. And I cut, I finally found the correct settings. I had cut this in the wrong setting. Um, washi, washi sheet, I think is the one that I use that doesn't cut through the page. Just a side note on your Cricut. Um, I think I was using sticky note and that does cut through your page. All right, um, so yeah, I'm currently using the recovery layout for my wellness. And to me, that is almost identical to the dashboard with the exception of the prompts that's on the left-hand side. So I do have another recovery layout in my stockpile. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna use that next year for wellness. And what I'll do is I'll eventually use, I have some dashboard um, extension packs. I'll just use them in the future, like two years from now for wellness because I don't foresee myself changing that. That's something that I really, really do like to capture. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I got my function. That's going to be the YouTube video I need to film. I need boxes. We do have these. Maybe I should go ahead and use these while I'm here. Oh, did I just lose one? Oh no, it didn't come off the page. <laughs> All right, so for Instagram, I'm gonna go ahead and put my bullet points down for here. And then I will be back because I don't, I'm gonna just speed it up because I don't think you guys need to see me slowly put this down, even if I'm chatting. Okay, guys, yes, I made a big error there by like, for some reason, did it on the correct line here. And then here I just went off the grid and started putting them up there. Um, and I wasn't even talking to the camera. So I don't have any excuse for that. All right, so I don't see any boxes. I mean, we have these, but these aren't big enough for what I need. So what I do is I write the videos that I need to film up here. So I don't really have any there. I could use them for reels. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, other than the whole trying to figure out or trying to see whether or not I want to change my lineup at all, I want these to be every other, um, with my catch-all social, I mean, my catch-all and goals, everything else is pretty much going to stay the same. I don't believe I'm going to be changing my lineup for anything else. So I guess these do have to go here, so it didn't matter. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if I should change it. And the only reason why I'm hesitant for changing my lineup, like I said, I, I mean, it's just, I have like, what am I, you know, I still have another six months to go with my dashboard planner. And then I still have six months to go with my hourly. So I feel like I can just continue on, even though I feel like this is going to be a better system. I don't know. I don't know. Decisions, decisions, right? All right. So let's see. We have these little half circles that we could use. I like... Are these black? I think they're black. So let's say I could use the black ones. I mean the um, dark green ones. But I can't tell. <laughs> um, let's hold green. I think they, they actually may be green. At least these I think are green. Yeah, I think they're green. So we're going to use these.
Because why not? <laughs> Amen. Did I just pull the black one? Yeah, that one was the black one. That one I did not want to pull. <laughs> you guys, I don't know what's up with me today. I'm just all over the place. All right, come on. I hope it lays back down. I don't want to lose a sticker. Yeah, I'm like putting like bullet points in the wrong row. Picking up the wrong color sticker. And that one was not, okay. That one was not in center. Yeah, I want to use different cut. The reason why I wanted to pull these is I didn't want to have all of these to be my stickers because I kind of want to use all different color greens and not have the same color green boxes. That's good enough. It's still not centered, but whatever. None of them are. All right. I don't know why it's so difficult. All right. And then I'll just go ahead and do these for my actual videos. So yeah, I mean, if you guys think I should just stick with my current system and just maybe start fresh in January, I don't know. Let me know. I still have some time to ponder. It's just one of those things, once you get a new planner, you're like, ooh, I kind of want to start it, even though you're currently using one. And I wouldn't, like, throw away the months that I don't use. I will, like, keep them in my stash. Because redating is just like an undated. You still have to just go through and put... I do have stickers, so I don't have to stamp everything. So I could just put them over the date. So that's not that big of an issue. But yeah. All right. And then down here... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I want boxes. I kind of want bullet points. Let's see if I have enough. I should have enough because I only need like four, maybe four. Let's see. Oh, I have four. Okay. So we'll just put it right in the center. And a lot of times this, I mean, I, like there's been weeks where I, I have bullet points and I end up needing more space and I just write on the other lines. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Once you write it, it doesn't matter whether there's the bullet points there or not. Okay. All right. And I'm going to add in these because I've already pulled all of this stuff. So we have to use it. Um, I do have this cute little iguana on a leaf. So you know we have to use him. And I don't want to put him all the way in the corner because I feel like he's going to get lost. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I have washi tape too, guys. And it's all like green and white. And this is pretty much all green. So I can definitely use some of this. I'm almost feeling like, I think I got all of this from Archer and Olive. I got both of them from there. I bought a box around Black Friday. It was some kind of jungle theme box where you got like washi and acrylographs and all kinds of other stuff that was in this jungle theme. And I haven't even used it because I keep forgetting about the washi. I need to like always remember about the washi. All right. We'll do this. So that way I don't have to waste all my stickers at the bottom. I can put stickers throughout and that'll help me because I don't have as many stickers, that can help me like spread the sticker love. Yeah, so is anybody out there, does anybody else out there, do y'all use the teacher layout? Did y'all buy any of the new Happy Planner teacher planners? Maybe did you buy a teacher planner from another brand? Do you like another brand better? Let me know, I'm always curious. I mean, I love the Happy Planner because I love the disc 
bound system. And I do think for my social media, I will be sticking to disc bound. I mean, I guess rings could also be an option. Um, but I think I'm going to stick to disc bound just because I really do like Franken planning two layouts together. It has been working extremely well. I have been so on top of my game as far as pre-planning and making sure things are good because of how I have my new layout for my social media with this combined with the monthly. I mean, it's, an, it, it's, it's, I was surprised by how easy, like, I feel like everything is now. I just feel like everything is so much more organized. Like, who would have thought? So I have this. Now I can also use some of these randomly. So like I can put this here. And put that little guy on top of it. I don't know why. I just want to use the washi. Same thing. Where where would be another good spot? Somewhere over here. Maybe here. Obviously, this doesn't look like grass or anything like that. I'm just putting it here just so it just adds a little bit more interest. So, yeah, for my social media, I definitely think I have to stick to the disc system. Just because it's working so well. And honestly, for my fitness, I think I need to keep it with the disc system because um, I use a lot of inserts with my fitness and I can foresee myself using even more inserts. So I like having the ability to add those inserts to my actual planner and not having to keep those separately. So yeah, I definitely think those will always be ring systems because of that. I mean, not ring, disc. But as far as being a coiled bound planner, I think my catch-all could. Now, the only thing is, it's like I'm going to eventually change to it. So whether I change to it in July or just hold off until December is going to be like the main thing I'm going to be thinking about. But <clears throat> regardless, what I'm going to do is in my Franken planner, I will still keep some of those things that I had in my catch-all. So like my subscription reminders, my cleaning list and things like that, I'm still gonna keep that in my Franken planner. And what I'm going to do is I will refer to that when I'm planning my monthly. So if that makes any sense, um, I think that'll work and I don't think it'll be I don't think it's going to add anything extra because when I'm doing my monthlies, I kind of do them all together anyway. So I don't, I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be anything extra. I mean, we'll see. The version that I got is actually outdated. <laughs> so I'm going to have to redate my, this coil bound planner anyway, which is fine, but I didn't want to buy a brand new one because this one was like half the price. Actually, it was almost a third of the price um, than the new ones. And I'm just not sure. I've never, I've never used this, you know, planning system. So I wanted to make sure I like it before I like spend a lot of money on something and then realize it's not for me. And that's what you can do for a lot of these dated planners. The dated planners go on clearance, like every brand, tries to get rid of their dated planners um, close to the time, honestly, that the year starts because they release these planners. Let me do some of these at the top. 
because they released these planners so early. Like, Happy Planner, I mean... I don't, did they release any 18 months? I know they didn't, I don't think they released as many 18 months that I can tell. Um, a lot of theirs were 12 months, but they used to release all these 18 month planners. And as part of their spring line that started in July. So come November, man, they were all on clearance. I don't know if we're going to have that this year because it seems like the inventory is like a lot smaller. And I, they were the same price as a 12 month too. And I always say get the 18 month if you can, because you have all these, even if you don't, even if you don't use the months. And I did put a video together showing you how you can repurpose, you know, old planners that you don't like, but it's also true for if you buy an 18 month planner and you don't start it until the new year. So you have six months of outdated stuff. You can also use it, you know, repurpose it for that. And like journaling and just, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, I do just check my videos for that. Um, I'll actually just go ahead and link it in the description box for you guys. But <laughs> if you are just someone that's like, nope, I don't want to do it. I need to get rid of all this stuff. I don't want it in my house. Then, you know, of course you can give it away to someone. But you can always keep the dividers <laughs> and the disc. So yeah. All right, guys. Do I need anything else? All right, guys. So I think that is it. I really liked how this turned out. I think it turned out better than I thought. And I will say, like challenging myself to stick to a certain color palette. Um, Yeah, I was going to say monochromatic, but I think the little hints of golds may kind of throw that askew so we'll say when you stick to a certain color palette it's actually been forcing me to use some of the older stickers that i have um most of these stickers actually all of the stickers except for these little half moon boxes are from happy planner um these are boxes that i made and then these were from mojo jojo but all the rest is from happy planner and then the washi was from archer and olive but yeah i mean i think you know, if you pick a theme like this, it kind of forces you to flip through a lot of your sticker books to see what you have and maybe utilize some of those stickers that you wouldn't have necessarily used. So yeah, it might be a good idea if you want to kind of dig through that stash. <laughs> All right. So if you have stuck through here this long, then I hope that means you like the, this video. And if you do hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I do want to thank all of you who have already subscribed. Your support means a whole lot to me. I also want to thank all of you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.